Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about quotient function in logo. So what that function does? That divides one number by another number and displays the quotient or the result of that division, right? So to see the result, of course, we have to use that function along with print command and then the name of the function is Q U O T I E N T that is quotient then this function also takes two parameters one is the dividend that is the first one and the second is divisor suppose in this case I take the divisor as 5 right and now if I execute it it should display the result of this division in recall list window so if I execute it yes 30 divided by 5 is 6 right and yes in this function also you can give expression as the parameter suppose if I change the first parameter by 10 multiplied by 3 and change the second parameter to 2 let's see what we get as result so if I execute it yes it displays 15 as result which is quotient when we divide 10 multiplied by 3 that is 30 by 2 right so the first parameter he has taken as 10 multiplied by 3 which is 30 and 2 is the divisor over here okay now let's take this command again and let me change this parameter to suppose 15 first parameter I have changed to 15 15 is an odd number and if we divide it by 2 we will not get a round figure as result right so let's execute and see if it displays the decimal number also or not so if I execute it, yes, it displays 7.5, right? So when you divide 15 by 2, you get 7.5. So this was quotient and yes, you can use it along with label command also. So first let me right turn the turtle by 90 degrees because we want to display the result horizontally. And now if I change this print command to label command and execute this, Yes, I get 7.5 printed on the logo main screen. If I hide turtle, you can see it properly, right? So this was the quotient function of logo. And yes, here also you can use it with both print command and label command. You can give expression as parameters. And yes, it also takes only two parameters. It has to have two parameters to function it properly, right? And in next video, we are going to learn about a function which is called remainder. Bye-bye till then.